We meditate because we know we can't live well without it. The mind gets ravaged by events of the day. If it doesn't have a good way of strengthening itself, you begin to realize that your goodness begins to deteriorate too. That gets ravaged as well. You look around you and see how other people are behaving, and it's pretty discouraging. And even when you know what's right, if you don't have the strength to do it, then that knowledge doesn't really help. So you need the practice that comes with meditation to strengthen your goodness, strengthen your determination, that regardless of the situation outside, the story of your life is not going to be what other people did to you, but it was the good things that you did, both for yourself and for other people. And the world out there is sure to have its ups and downs. And it doesn't stay out there all the time. Sometimes it comes in and impinges on us. But even then, we have to have the confidence that when we strengthen the mind like this, we know we can survive. At the very least, our goodness can survive. The body's going to have to die at some point anyhow. But your goodness doesn't have to die. And that's what matters. So when we chant, the world is swept away, make sure your goodness doesn't get swept away. This is why we meditate. We say that it does not endure. Okay, we want to make sure that your concentration endures. The world doesn't offer any shelter. You have to find shelter inside. And you want to put yourself in charge, your mindfulness, your alertness, your discernment in charge. That all requires the strength of concentration. That way we get away from that last statement in that series. We don't have to be a slave to craving, because that's what the problem is. It's not the world out there. It's the craving that keeps pulling us on and on and on. But if the mind gets solid enough and clear enough, okay, then it can look at that craving and figure out where it's coming from, where it gets its strength, and then you can start to starve it. And when that's gone, okay, then there's nothing to cause any trouble. Sometimes people say that Buddhism is people in Buddhism are concerned only about themselves. Well, they're concerned about where the real problem is. You can't go out and solve other people's craving, but you can work on your craving. As for other people, if they see your example, that gives them some inspiration. So you're not the only one who benefits. But this is the way out of all that swept away world where things are don't endure. You go inside, and you find that the resources are there, the dimension of true peace is there, and that's what matters. <laughs>